Good morning everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 of the Shoshana, this is part 34. We are at war with Germany, we are going to take Munich and Cologne, hopefully in the next two or three turns. We are also slowly preparing to take Amsterdam, by recruiting some, well, cannons to be upgraded to artillery as soon as possible. And after that, units from here are probably going to go against Tijuana and Cusco, and units from Berlin, well, they're not anywhere near Berlin yet, but from Berlin are going to maybe swing against Jakarta? I don't know, it's kinda not very easy. Like, there's no easy way. I could get Utrecht by peace deal? Ah, this is like long-term planning. Let's not do that just yet. Let's first take Munich. That's step number one. It will probably t happen this turn. So we have attacks. Is that enough? It's not that much, but that's enough. The city doesn't have to go to zero XP. It can go to like small amount on the XP. Uh, create a puppet. There's no reason to raise anything. Uh, they can do whatever they want. I get another worker. That's why I keep disbanding them. I keep capturing them, so I keep disbanding them. Uh, and even this worker doesn't really have much to do. I guess there's some race stuff. Anyway. Uh, this unit has one attack only, so move forward. Shoot. This one has two attacks, so let's attack twice. Uh, this doesn't have anything. Yeah, so hopefully next turn we're going to do that. Uh, where am I not going to get shot? This is basically the German border, like th this line. So this tile is not in German borders. And obviously, like, it's tempting to accept uh, Germany's offer of Cologne, but seriously, I'm going to get Cologne next turn anyway. Uh, they could take Jerusalem, that's possible. And actually, they don't have any melee units, so no, they're not going to take Jerusalem. Well, they could send melee units, but, well, can't have everything. Wow, and now we have horses. As if I didn't have enough horses. I'd just like to buy iron. How much are you paying me for iron? Two iron for one gold. Oh, That's entirely that. fine. Good. Uh, who else would like to buy something? You like to buy horses and oh, iron. Okay, you I'm going to give you two horses to iron for three gold. Oh, for would you agree to that? that and the embassy, talking. fine. Does actually embassy do anything at this point? I know it reveals the capital, but everybody knows everybody else's capital anyway. And it enables some, some advanced stuff, but... I'm not going to get any fancy uh, stuff with them anyway. Um, I could move forward and pillage something, or I could just chill. I have so much... Uh, oh, there's one more unit. I could move here, I guess, just in case. One of get them gets damaged horribly. Uh, this one is... yeah, this is in range, so just... Oh, there's... There's a civilian inside already, so I can actually move there. Could move here. Yeah, that's fine. That's entirely fair. Uh, attack be on Berlin is somewhat awkward because there's Hamburg on the way and C, C on the other way, but it's planes and 27 is not all that much. Yeah, so, so basically I captured Munich and it, the strength just increased from 27 to 35 because of my technology presumably. And this is this ba ba can barely defend itself. I think I'm just going to leave Germans with Hamburg. It has first and stuff, but Berlin has first as well, so it does very little actually. I think this call is going to go to Berlin. I'm not entirely sure it's within two tiles from both, but I'm not actually sure how, how, what's the algorithm? Since like, the tiles are not assigned to cities, the tiles are assigned to civilization. And this could be easily assigned to either of those cities. I don't know. Uh, just sleep and just chill. And no, not this turn, next turn. <laughs> Okay, so the problem of having too many workers, an another example, uh, let's just build a lumber mill here. Uh, what? Oh, it's not... It, this is not my territory, okay? So this is like a one tile gap in my territory. Uh, well, this is my territory, I can always do that. Or I could repair this one. Uh, none of them are in my territory yet. This one is. Yeah, go there. Um, just chill. Next turn. Okay, yeah, go go there. Uh, 
your highly aggressive behavior has not gone unnoticed. Should we keep uh, get over it? Okay, let's see if Jerusalem survives. This is one of those small bits. Like, like I kind of know I'm going to win, and I kind of know I'm going to win by domination because it's going to take forever to wait for diplomatic victory. But it's one of those small interesting things. Is Jerusalem going to survive this one or not? There's always like small bits in the game, even if like you know like the grand scheme what's gonna happen. Uh, like German is going to lose another one of the units here. It's kind of embarrassing how many units they lost. Yeah, if this command fighter was fast closer to this, to this great general, I could just can I move them somehow without getting bombarded more than once? Don't think so, to be honest. So Munich is already connected to my capital. I think I'm going to keep Cologne. I actually don't have that much happiness. Uh, is there any way I can get more happiness? Uh, Grand Temple. Circus Maximus. I could have five more Colosseums. That's a lot. Yeah, this is a lot of Colosseums. Um, I guess I could start buying Pagodas and stuff. I could start annexing everything built by court houses and pagodas and uh, I, have, I have money for some kind of purchase. Uh, what's in Berlin? I don't know. Are there any like wonders that give happiness in Berlin maybe? Probably not, but you never know. Okay, damage them. This one has two attacks, so they attack twice. Attack. Wait, what? Attack. Oh, you have... yeah, logistics, good. And... capture the city. So, yeah, so we are long before artillery and we're basically on a... Great Puppet, that's not that bad. And we are on a conquering spree, this one has a Colosseum already, and... This one has a Colosseum, okay, so that's not that bad. Um, if I could get some more... Can I shoot you for just experience somehow? I uh, don't think so. No, it's too far. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's start going towards Berlin then. Uh, is it safe? Oh, this is not even a special unit, this is a regular unit. Uh, which, wh which one is it? Okay, this is Command Rider. Uh, get struck maybe? Doesn't even matter. Okay, so my hope for like finding a ruin somewhere is doesn't seem to be... Okay, there's something here. That's probably another wonder. It's probably like one tile of wonder and nothing else. Um, it's just a regular unit. It doesn't have logistics, doesn't have... Like Gatling guns are such a huge downgrade compared to what comes before them. It's somewhat sad, actually. Okay. <coughs> uh, could move here, I guess. Uh, worker, worker. Uh, sleep here. Oh, more workers, of course. What that's the one thing I need the most, more workers always. Um let's fix this one. Did anybody want first? Yeah, one of my city states friends wanted first, so um Okay, come on Schrider, can I get to Jerusalem somehow? Take two turns, so I would have one turn of being attacked by Hamburg. Can I not? I don't know, let's just move here. Two great generals. Wait, what's why why is it three three movement points? Is it because it has hill and forest? Okay. I didn't even know. I thought it was just two if there's any fancy terrain there. Apparently this is three points. Yeah, I'll just go back. Uh I think this is a good place for you. I could even like build a citadel, just to have this road. I have so many great generals anyway, except most of them are in wrong places. Where's my, my, my extra great general? I got an extra one, I think I sent him to Venice? 
Why is he anyway? Oh, here you are. Uh, yeah, just go there. That's actually a reasonable thing to do. Maybe uh, go to this tile and build the citadel here. It would give me access to this road, and does it even matter to be honest? It will mostly give me, uh, get me damaged by two, two cities in one turn, which is generally a bad thing. Uh, okay, so next turn I'm just going to like line my crossbowmen next to the border, and turn after that I'm going to go in and start shooting. I think it's too early. Not gonna happen. There's really no point. I don't want Hamburg all that much. Yeah, let's go to zero, but they didn't have anything to capture it with. It still can shoot back, so... Uh, it's, a pos it's possible that they're going to uh, somehow get more units and capture the city. If they got like a, like a knight or something, it could just go before the city can even shoot it. Especially since they have this unique knight. What happened? This one has a nice piece of Valletta. Okay. Bad policy. So right now I have f 575 uh, science and let's see what happens. 600. So this is 75 science or so. 78 science I think. Unless I can't count. It's possible I cannot count. Uh, city connection, yeah. A guide comes for different construction. Uh, what I was thinking? Oh yeah, so I went to the factory, but that's still quite a while away. I don't really want that all that much. Oh, I can build extra two caravans. Okay, let's build two more caravans. Okay, so first let's just... Mm, that's all heals and stuff, so it's not actually that easy to move. That might actually take an extra turn or two. Okay, move you here. Yeah, this is kinda kinda difficult. Like it would be much easier if I actually agreed to take uh to take Hamburg and not What? Why is why is it to the left? Like if you see this, like um the line of, of information is here, but on this unit, okay, it's now fine. It, it was just like moved uh to a, a bit to a place I couldn't even really see anything. Okay, move him here. Um, yeah, this unit is still chilling. Um, yeah, let's go there. <laughs> I think this horseman is going to capture Berlin, so I just need enough units to shoot it. It has tw only 28 uh, defense, so it's less than Jerusalem. It's literally less than Jerusalem. Somehow. That is actually somewhat surprising. Really like thing with capitals. Should have some more defense? I don't know. I don't mean that should in gameplay sense. It's, it would just be logical. And you know, logic is not always what this game is for. Um, I could go somewhere. I don't know if they even have any units. Maybe this is this had the last two units. And they might lose this one this turn. They have crossbowmen and crossbowmen, yeah, that's possible. Uh, okay. Yeah, I could move here, but I don't want to. I could even move here like, last last turn of the war, steal this call if it turns out I don't have this call. Yeah, whatever. Uh, do I want to upgrade him? Um, uh, I kind of don't want it, but fine. I have ex I have some time for stuff like that now. How much stronger is it? So this is 30, this is 18. Okay, this is, so he's actually much, much stronger. But the range penalty is just uh, painful, painful. Wow, so many workers and so little to do. And so little useful stuff to do. There's always stuff to do that's completely useless. Uh, is it a new car? Okay, previous road, foot to... Yeah, fine, go for it. Crossbowman. Wait, what kind of co Okay, this is a crossbowman with extra logistics, extra range. This is a really good crossbowman, so let's upgrade him. So, he has proper range, so he could actually move here and start shooting Hamburg. I kind of don't want to take Hamburg, like... There's only so many things I want to do. Progress uh, for great man... Wait, what? 
Oh, is this the next? Uh, well, I don't want the Great Marsha. Like, I literally don't want. Like, it's worse than not having anything. Okay, not in this mode, but I just, just don't care about it so much. Fine. Uh, yeah, whatever. Just sleep, sleep, sleep. Um, is there anything you can do? You can build like mine here, but there's so many workers around anyway. Uh, let's delete this worker. So this is 289, so I'm getting 3 golds per turn. That's how much the worker costs me. That's actually a lot. Oh, and one more worker, of course, because I keep capturing workers. And I can't really give them to the citizens anything. Does this thing have anything? Okay, it doesn't. So it's... Oh, it's a farm in progress. That's why it has a farm uh, sprite. Actually, it has a half-finished farm sprite. Uh, so I was wondering why some things look like farms but don't give any, any extra food or anything. Um, fine. Another one that doesn't really have anything to do. Uh, build a trade post here. I mean, 3 gold per turn is probably worth more, more than uh, the value of a worker by now. And 3 gold per turn is not actually that valuable. Okay, so next time we're going to move within the range of Berlin. Uh, yeah, that got uh, extra level and wasted it on... Uh, okay. If you want so. Yeah, that's the thing, like... Civis are so strongly defended in this game that AI has massive trouble taking them. Like, a player in this situation could trivially take this. And also, player would not want to take this because taking city states is kind of useless. It just costs you a lot of happiness and... It's better to ally- WHOA! I did not expect that one. Okay, let's try to spread a Mormonism mm -hmm. once more. Didn't work. Did that work? Not at all. But we're trying again next turn and maybe next time it's going to work. Uh, yeah, what is this even? They don't have that. One culture, sure, go for it. I would love to just connect some coal so I can start building factories. Yeah, those pathfinders are kind of useless and maybe should disband them as well. Anyway, well it's time to it's time to move into the city range. This doesn't have extra range. Uh, I could start shooting, I guess. Nah, let's just move everybody this turn and next turn we start shooting. Uh, this style is kind of suspicious because yeah, it's... Okay, stop, 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 stop. Uh, move. I could move here. What are you even doing? Oh, it's a caravan. Uh, trade route. Oh, it used to do Amsterdam. Uh, Budapest? Yeah, sure, whatever. Sorders. I don't care, to be honest. Not even sure it can do anything. It has logistics, but it doesn't have anything else. Um, go here. Uh, do nothing. Do nothing. Uh, you could move here. Actually, maybe I should move here instead. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter if I get damaged a bit. Like, there's so many tiles to pillage. Yay, I have a caravel. Uh, can I even upgrade this by now? No, I cannot. Just, just let's... Oh, wow, this is so nice. There's so much discovery. Maybe I should just ignore those Pathfinders. Like, the only p reason I, I'm exploring with Pathfinders, even though like, they're so crappy, at, well, they're crappy at naval exploration, is because if they find the ruin, I can pop the ruin, but that seems less and less likely. What's the next thing you're doing? Stoneworks library. Yeah, go for it. More caravans. Yeah, because more caravans is exactly what I want. Uh, no, no, what was doing? Just keep doing whatever you were doing. I understand the design because you cannot simultaneously default to doing whatever it was doing previously and not have cancellation. Like, there's no there's no way if it automatically renews and you can't cancel, like, that makes no sense. So you either have to uh, allow tr everything to be cancelled whenever you want, which would, of course, uh, remove this... Uh, Remove the downside from... Okay, so right now, if you send, like, a caravan to, like, enemy or to any risky place, 
you, if you if you could cancel at any time, that would just remove this downside. That, that there's a risk and benefit. There's, there's you're risking something, but you could benefit something. And, and if you could cancel at any time, you would just remove that. But then you could, on, on the other side, okay, just, just upgrade this one. On the other hand, you could just uh, have have all the caravans after a new one. That would be just much less micro. I I'm not sure. I think it would probably be for the better if you could cancel any time. Or cancel and it was and next turn you could just rebase or something. Yeah, you just keep wasting it in Jerusalem. If cities could just yeah. It's just one attack. It's just ridiculously low. Units. So this is, this might very well be the last German unit. Oh, you get new units from Valletta. Milan declared one Bismarck. Okay. We are presumably now allies, but it's not going to tell me, it's just going to tell that stuff. It would be really funny if actually this barbarian took Jerusalem now. So if they shoot this, if they shoot Jerusalem and barbarian actually just pillages it. Uh, this one of the king, this of the king. Sorry, I connected first. A new it from Budapest. Gatling gun. With no upgrades. Ah, this is just... Um, ah. This is not particularly useful. Well, I guess we can keep him here. If I want to go to Jakarta at some point. Eh. Not a huge fan of that. Uh, okay, let's try this. Yes, so another Mormon city. Uh, what's up with everything? So. Columbo is an O with you. Milan is my ally now. I got this cavalry. Okay, so even though I have a unique unit at this, this level, it just didn't give me that. That's fine. Extra cavalry is just fine. Yeah, it's. it's yeah, the Pathfinder is full. Maybe you should just send a caravel. Just, just keep one Pathfinder that, yeah, that may, this caravel might actually need to get disbanded soon. Maybe we should just send the caravel to discover the ruins and then just keep one Pathfinder and send this Pathfinder when it's done to pop the ruin. Uh, you have one attack, so just go here first. You have just one attack, so also... Oh! Ah! Can't actually do that. Uh, that's double attack. That one has double attack, so let's go shooting. I could shoot from this tile, but I don't want to get shot by a second city for no value. I think Berlin is going to, to fall in two turns anyway. And after Berlin falls, the war ends, any so it doesn't really matter. Uh, no, no, just, just chill. I want to go here. So I can pop up the Citadel after the, well, just before the peace deal, in case uh, Hamburg for some reason gets the call. Okay, so you can wait, you can, you can go on one tile here, doesn't really matter. Uh, command riders, can you take, oh actually you cannot go to Berlin, uh, move here I guess. In the worst case if it gets shot then that's I'll just send somebody else. Uh, yeah, that is fairly embarrassing because you cannot actually go anywhere. Um, go here, I guess. Can you take Berlin? You also can't take Berlin. Oops! Oops! That's pretty bad. I have to free this. Yeah, one of them will have to not, not shoot. That's awkward. I could send him here, I guess. Yeah, let's send him here. It's fine. Uh, one of them might get shot, but I'll have another anyway. Uh, yes, so go one tile forward. That was fine. So, build a mine. Uh, musket man. Why do I even count musket man? Get the hell out. Go here. Maybe we need it. Eventually, we're going to take Jakarta. Wow, pikeman. Fine. It's just. I don't need lances, but it's kind of embarrassment that I have one. Uh, just sleep here. It's fine. What is this unit doing here? Okay, just finished the lumber mill. I can finish the lumber mill. Um, sleep. 
Okay, I have coal now, so I can start building something useful like uh, factories. Uh, I'm not even sure if I want to take ideology of any kind. Uh, if hypothetically they just give you massive bonuses, but I always have like dissidents every time. It doesn't matter what's my culture production, I always get a massive number of dissidents. And that is so annoying. Uh, yeah, maybe I should just disband here. Yeah, fine. Just do that, even from the does exactly nothing and then disband him. Okay, so... It's another one of those, like, what the hell do I do with this one? Once Heliopolis expands, which is uh, 24 turns, which is basically never... Uh, I cannot buy it because I would have to, uh, to annex it and I really don't want to. I guess I could disband him as well. Yeah, fine, I have too many workers. Okay, let's try to capture Berlin and that would be a good end of the episode if Berlin falls. Uh, yeah, this is damage is just very, very low. Uh, blah, 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 get over it. Okay, so they're shooting the barbarians. Yeah, by now, crossbowman versus brute, that was pretty one-sided. Unfortunately, that leaves... Oh my god, I want to just kill this general. I, I, no, I would capture the general, I didn't even kill him. Okay, I have one more ally, apparently. Okay... I didn't do anything. Nope, this is completely impossible. Um, can I move from here? Oh, I can Well, no, I cannot. It just doesn't know it yet. It, it will just let you pass through, like, unknown territory, and then if you actually go there, it will not, so... It's like, I mean, it makes sense because if you just if you just like point to some p place that you haven't discovered yet, it will let you because otherwise, if if it actually knew if this is a uh, land or water or whatever, you could just use it to cheat. So this is silliness instead of cheating. Okay, let's have accuracy, accuracy. Uh, yeah, let's go here. Uh, it's possible that he might get annoyed by me. Uh, doing that. One, two, three. I could go here, I guess? I don't know. If he asks me to declare war, I'm just going to declare war because screw him. I know it's too early and I don't get anything out of it, but... I don't want to wait, like, forever. So, okay, let's just take Berlin. Hopefully I can take Berlin this turn. Uh... This is a logistics one, that's not a logistics one. So many great generals, I could still pop one here just to get this road. Yeah, okay, so I'm just for the sake of the road, otherwise, you have to build the road. It's not a very good road. I could just like one, two, three, four instead of one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one pile safe, that's completely pointless to be honest. And, and now we could just get everything from Germany, or I could even take Hamburg and immediately from the game. Also, raus damit. What would you give me? Schon. Maybe I should just eliminate him from the game? Like, is there any value in keeping him in the game? Das ist inakzeptabel. Do, do I have any reason to, like, not eliminate Wismar from the game? I mean, like, there will be f fewer stupid, like, propos diplomatic proposals. Like, I mean, everybody's gonna hate me anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, Mormons put to Sidon. What? what? Oh. Probably not investors. General Council's quest, whatever. Uh, I don't know. Should I take Hamburg and eliminate Germany, or should I not? 
I'm thinking about it because it's going to be so easy. Like Germany has no. That's the last Germany. You need, those general and two generals and one crossbowman. This is a very sensibly built army. More generals than, than actually foot soldiers. That makes so much sense, right? Uh, so I could just take it in like three turns maybe, and then I would have dynamite that could go against Amsterdam. So oh, that finally fit to Mormon. That's at least one good news. So Mormonism is now hopefully a dominant religion. This is 21 versus uh, this 19. Okay, so we are ahead of everybody else by a lot. Okay, so now I need to think if I want to like eliminate Hamburg or keep it. It's kind of pointless city. I mean, I could also raise it, but yeah, I don't like raising cities. I still have happiness for like at least one city. And then I'm probably going to just move all the units back to to Venice and go against Jakarta. It's, like, it's not like super easy to go do it. I'll think about it. I mean, in four turns I'm just going to start attacking Amsterdam anyway. Or in five turns, I need one turn to upgrade. Anyway, I'm just going to end the episode now. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!